the Minnesota Wild enter this road contest with an overall record of 31-13-3. This mark includes a road record of 59-2. Over their last 10 games, the Wild have been playing well, putting together a record of 7-3. In their last game, Minnesota took down the Edmonton Oilers by a score of 7-3. The Ottawa Senators come into this matchup as the sixth-ranked team in the Atlantic Division. On the season, they have an overall record of 18-26-5. When playing in their home arena, Ottawa is still below 500 at 9-11-3. The Senators look to bounce back from a loss to the New York Rangers by a score of 2-1. The Minnesota Wild will look to pick up a win led by the strong play of Kirill Kaprizov. So far, the Wilds' leader in points has posted a line of 23 goals and 39 assists. Ten points behind him is Matt Zuccarello has 17 goals and 35 assists. On the season, Minnesota has a record of 19-10 when goalie Cam Talbot makes a start. In five-on-five -five situations, the Minnesota Wild have a shooting percentage of 9.6 placing them above the league average. It has been important that Minnesota be efficient with their shots as they are generating scoring chances at a below average rate. According to advanced metrics that track the quality of a team's shots, the Wild have 20.8 fewer goals than expected. For the year, the team is averaging 6.11 high danger scoring chances per game. If the Senators are going to pull off the upset, they will need strong performances from their top scorers Brady Kachuk and Joshua Norris. So far, Kachuk has scored 16 goals to go along with 20 assists, while Norris has 18 goals and 8 assists. In goalie Anton Forsberg's 23 games, the team has put together a record of 10-8-2. When looking at the Ottawa Senators' performance during 5-on-5 five -five time, their shooting percentage of 7.4 puts them below the league average. This lack of efficiency has been a problem for the team as they are also struggling to generate 5-on-5 five -five scoring chances. Based on the quality of their shot attempts, advanced metrics show the Senators should have at least 5.1 more goals on their total. On the season, the Senators are covering the spread in less than half their games, with an ATS record of just 17-30. Despite playing at home, they have covered just 9 of their 25 home games. On the season, the Ottawa Senators have a per-game scoring differential of 0.53. Things haven't gone any better at home, as they are losing home games by an average of 0.48 goals. As the Ottawa Senators get set to take on the Wild they have a below 500 record over their past five games, going to 3 Look for Minnesota to take advantage of playing a struggling Senators unit. I recommend taking the Wild to cover the spread.